Hi everyone, I hope you all had an amazing summer break. Now, it's that time of the year guys, where you're all heading back to school. And what I wanted to do was to offer five survival tips for those of you in year 11 who are preparing and gearing up for your final GCSEs. Now, of course, year 10 probably felt like you went like this. However, you need to really keep your head in the game now that you're restarting school and most importantly, preparing for your all important GCSEs. So I'd like to offer five survival tips, which if you follow them from the start, you can actually begin secondary school and year 11, most importantly, really, really strong, but also end the year really powerfully with your GCSEs. So let's get started. Number one, don't study every day. I know, it sounds really contradictory coming from a study channel. I'm obsessed with education. However, I would actually like to suggest, especially for those of you who are keen beans, do not be too gung-ho and too energetic and too hardcore too early. In other words, there's a tendency for some students when they start year 11 because you have all of this energy after taking off the summer to really go in every single day studying and having this really intense study routine. Don't do that. You're going to burn yourself out. What you want to do between now and your first set of mocks in November is set aside five days a week, ideally weekdays, Monday to Friday, put aside two to three hours after school to get up on your homework, get your vision card started and so on. However, then you study every day, two weeks before your mocks, and most importantly, after the Christmas break in January, that's when you really amp it up to daily study with lots of intense hours. Do not burn yourself out too early by studying every day. Number two, don't skip school unless you have to. Now, one thing you're going to find as year 11 progresses is everything is going to really be amped up in terms of speed. In class, teachers are going to be moving at a way faster speed than, you know, 10 and even younger years. You're going to find that the workload is going to really pile up. Therefore, what you want to do is change your mindset to lessons and days at school. See one day in school as equivalent to a week's worth of regular school between year seven and year 10. Meaning if you do skip school, you will have a lot to catch up on. It will all pile up and the stress is going to be insane. So unless you have to, unless you absolutely have to make sure you don't skip school throughout year 11. Number three, revision notes, mind maps, study summaries, all of these, especially the really nice aesthetic mind maps should all be made by Christmas, not after, but ideally before Christmas. In other words, spend between September and December putting together all your revision notes so that when it comes to January and after Christmas, you basically spend that time between January and May revising and going over your revision notes and practicing past papers. Try to make sure that you complete your revision notes and mind maps before Christmas. Number four, mock exams are crucial. Make sure you take your mock exams seriously, revise for them, treat them as if they were your actual GCSE. And this is for two reasons. Number one, the mock grade that you get is what is gonna be used as your predicted grade when you're making applications, for example, for sixth form or other further study outside of school. But the second and most important reason is if you don't do that well in your mocks, it can be really, really bad for your confidence when it comes to actually revising and preparing for your GCSEs. You want to have really strong grades for your mocks so that this can really boost your confidence when you're preparing for your final GCSE results. Number five, ask your teachers for help. Now, maybe if you're shy or maybe if you don't want to be kind of seen as a little bit too geeky, you might be reluctant to ask your teachers for help. Don't do that to yourself. Firstly, remember that your teachers are there to help you. And this is really gonna be the final time between September and April that you're gonna have lots of contact time with your teachers in order to ask them the questions that you want. Also, don't ask your teachers questions when everybody else is asking them questions. Don't wait until your mocks to ask them questions. Don't wait until your final exam to mob them and to send them emails and so on with questions. Try to do this throughout the school year where you don't understand something and you don't wanna look a little bit silly, maybe hang back after class, but try your best to ask your teachers for help because that's what they're there for. So that's really it when it comes to the five survival tips for year 11. Thanks so much for listening guys. And if you wanna see a specific video on a topic or any other suggestions that you may have, please do drop them in the comments section below.